your kids. Tell your kids those stories. You know, say, yeah, yeah, you know, you could get a job working for somebody, something that somebody else created. But let me tell you how, uh, let me tell you how, uh, you know, let me tell you how Apple got started with Steve Jobs, right? <laughs> or, or let me tell you about A.G. Gaston. You know, I did a little story. I told you guys about A.G. I'm going to try to do more content like that, too, to kind of give you the stories that you can share. And you can feel free to share the content on my channel if you want to. But, like, really, like, like I want my kids to hear stories like that because I don't want them to see what they could become if they are given permission. I want to, them to see what they can become if they come, go out there and just take it. I want to see, I don't want to see what they look like on level two. I want to see what they look like on level 12, right? And so a lot of your kids have the ability to go to level 12, but nobody ever gives them the vision. Nobody gives them the imagination uh, to, to realize how high they could actually go. And, you know, so they're sitting there and they got this job working for, um, you know, IBM or something or Microsoft, and they're making 200000 a year, and they think that they've reached the pinnacle of success. Look at me. I'm a Microsoft senior executive, and I make oh, I made a quarter million dollars last year. Well, maybe you were supposed to be Elon Musk, and you're supposed to make $10 million a day, but you can't. You never did that because you never even took the time to explore what that reality would look like for you. So, so, so don't let people keep you in a box or keep you in a bag. Um, I think as a community, uh, I, I, I really... Uh, and to some extent, honestly, I disavow my own commitment to any of these pre-existing institutions. Almost all of them, not all of them, but most of them. I, you know, I don't, I don't have any faith in the public school system. Doesn't mean I hate every public school. It just means I know I, I think I can educate my own kids better than you can. Anyway, uh, I don't really care much about corporate America. There's no job anyone at any corporation could offer me that would make me want to leave what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, my wife and I went to visit Harvard University. We have a lot of respect and admiration for for the institution. But I was really studying. John Harvard and how that school was built. I was like, oh, hmm, what's the history here? How did you take nothing and turn it into something? I need to write and take notes because that's what I want to do, right? Uh, you know, and it's, it's, it's if they called me and they said, hey, doc, we want you to come here and teach at Harvard University, I'd say thank you, but no thank you because I've got more important work to do. And I would not say it to be snotty. I wouldn't say it because I was pumping myself up. I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't be lying at all. Th that would really be truly how I feel. Well, how do I get to that point? Well, I got to that point because I practiced thinking that way. I practice learning to see my own worth and my own value without having to have certain external validation in order for me to feel like it was legitimate. And the reason that that's so important for you to understand is that because sometimes an oppressor will validate you and reward you because you're supporting your own oppression. So, you know, sometimes black people, we think we're doing well because somebody's paying us a lot of money and they, made, they put us on TV. Well, a lot of times they put you on TV because you're the biggest damn clown. Think about this. Look at how many clowns you got on TV and in the media that, that are just buffoons, absolute losers, living unhealthy lives, doing unhealthy things, ignorant as hell, backward as hell, going to die before the age of 40. And we're looking up to these people because somebody grabbed that person, gave them a bunch of money, put them on TV. And we're like, oh, he's successful. He's lit. He's blah, blah. You need to think deeper than that. You need to look at that and say, is this something that would I want my child living like that? Like if you took away all the money and all the fame. Is that a life that a healthy black person would even want to live? And if you look at a lot of our rappers in particular, the answer is absolutely no. I know rappers. I know famous people. I've met many, many famous people. A lot of them have called me. I don't call them. I don't look. I don't chase around famous people. I've never done that. But they call me because they hear about me. Right. And I'm going to tell you, some of those people, <laughs> I'm like, shit, if you take away the money and the fame, you got a horrible life, dude. You have no peace. You're going to get killed at your next concert. And.